Good day, everyone. Welcome to Duty Toys. We're back after a very long break. So, we're going to start a new series, and the series is on Borehole Logs Interpretation. You might be thinking, what does that mean? Borehole Log Interpretation involves us interpreting different forms of logs. And what are the logs? So, logs tells us about the information on our borehole, which is our well. So different wells have different information based on the type of lithology that we have, based on the characteristics of those lithology that we meet in the subsurface. You know, I wonder, you know, you can actually look at the ground and you might not see anything. Of course, you can, you can only see the floor. Probably where you are standing on currently might have tiles, or might just see a bare ground or just mere grass. But with the help of borehole, we are able to, our eyes can now have like an x-ray where we can now see the subsurface very, very clearly. And journey with me as we're going to start our first log. Thank you. And our first log is what? Gamma ray log. What is gamma ray log? Gamma ray log is a log that tells us about the lithology. Hmm? That helps us to differentiate. Tells us differentiate, differentiate between, between lithologies okay you know as a geologist a geophysics or petrophysics or petroleum engineer or reservoir engineer you know when you have a little you also have a rock and logis is like study of rocks so we have to divide between different rock types okay and um, majorly in appealing in relation to petroleum geology one of the things that helps us to differentiate better is between our sandstone and our shale so imagine you have something that can help you to see at what point you have shale in the subsurface, at what point you have sandstone. That's a very, very good information for a reservoir engineer, or even a petrol physics person, or even a geologist. You understand? Okay, so now we're going to look at how to interpret our logs. You know, after sending in your gamma rays into the into the bowl, and you got you got this, you know, you get this, it might be kind of confusing at first. You'll see something like looking like this. You know, these these are logs. There are more than one log in this place. Okay, I'm going to join. You're going to join with me to see this with me. Okay, so in this composite log, okay, you can see the here, composite log. This composite log is composed of three main, like four to five or six logs. Okay, we have the gamma ray log. This is the gamma. Okay, the gamma ray log. This is the resistivity log. Okay, resistivity log, and this is the um, sonic um, neutron porosity and density log. Okay, sonic neutron porosity and density log joined together. Okay, many a times usually stack them together because they usually do the same thing find porosity. Okay, the density log, neutron porosity, and the sonic log they used to score the porosity. Good. So now the first thing that we're going to do in Today's stuff is the gamma ray log. And for you to interpret your gamma ray log, the first thing is that what you must know the scale it represents. You must know the scale what that it what represents. You can see in this upper part of this is your gamma ray log. I want you to focus here. This is your gamma ray log here. Okay. And you see it. This tells you about the title of the log, of what which each level tells you. Okay, so you have gamma total, gamma API, caliper, bit sizes. Your concern is the gamma API, this green stuff. Can you see? That's your concern, the gamma API, which is from 0 to what? 200 in this case. Okay, 0 to 200 in this case. Now you can see that we have our vertical lines. Just focus on this log data. We have a vertical lines. You have what your horizontal lines. So your horizontal lines point to the what to the feet. These are your depth. Depth 9150 is like 9150 feet. 9200, 9200 feet. Okay, these are feet. So in between, you just scale it yourself. Okay, good. So what do we do with this and how do we interpret? First off, you must know what each reading, how to read it, how to read your gamma ray log. So if you look at this gamma ray log, the first thing you see there is that 
Um, how many lines do we have? You know, yes, I do focus on your API because this green stuff is under our Gamma Ray API. Okay, American Petroleum Institute, and that's the what we follow for our Gamma. So if you look at it, this is zero and to 200, have you? So what do you have? One, two, three. I mean, I can't see the vertical lines, just follow me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so the intervals, we have 10 intervals, have you? 10 vertical lines, 10 vertical lines, 10 increase. Okay, and we know that is what is running from what? Zero to what? To 200. Okay, so we want to know what each line represents, like your graph now. You want to know what each vertical line represents. So what do you do? You just take, you, what's the total? The total is what? 200. Divided by the total number of what? Vertical lines. No, yes, let's see accounting. The same thing. Okay. From year to year, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So we have like 10. We have 10 lines in this place. So every time, always count. Don't just assume, don't just assume that it is 10. Sometimes it can be five. You have to work with the number of vertical lines that you have. Okay. Vertical lines that you have. Okay. So, 20 divided by 10, that's what? 20, right? Okay. So, which means that what? Each, each line is what? 20 increase, like 20 more increase. So, we are starting from here. If here is zero, right? If here is zero, are you seeing that? The next vertical line will be what? 20. The next one will be what? 40, 60, 80, 100. Can you see that? 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Can you see it match with our what with our API reading? So that you know. So each increase is in 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. So you just can't the increase. Okay. That's it where I counted. I didn't start from this edge. Start from here. After the first line. Start from here. One, two, three, then to this last edge. Because you are counting, you're looking for the increase. What is the increment? Okay. So you are counting the increments after this first line. So count the number of lines. That's the trick. They are divided by, okay? So the total number of, the total number here is what? 200, have you? From 0 to 200. Okay, so a trick that I usually do is that, um, yeah, what I do is that I for me to know the total here, for you to get a total over number of vertical lines, to know the increment, number of vertical lines, for you to get the increment. So how did I get my total? Very simple, because sometimes your total might be kind of misleading, okay? So what do I do? I do, for my total, I just do upper boundary, okay? The upper limit minus what? Minus lower limit. Or upper boundary minus lower limit. So what's my, in this scale now, we have zero to 200. So zero is my what? Lower limit. So I put zero. My upper limit is what? 200. So I put 200. So the total, Will be what 200 okay that's total and for my vertical lines what do i do so because this increment i'm concerned about so i skip the first the one that's at the edge and i start counting because it's increment so i start counting from the first line after this line so i start till the last tick line okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so my vertical lines is what ten Okay, that's the um, difference. Okay, 10. We have 10 difference. That's the difference between it. Okay, 10. So I now divide it. So my increment per line, increment per vertical line is what? 200 over what? 10. And that's what? 20. So each increment is what? 20. Can you see? So vertical line is 10. Increment is 200 over what? Over 10. And that's 20. So as I've said before, 0, 20, 40, 60, 80, like that, 200. Good. So uh, that is our uh, understanding how to read this skill. Okay, good. But that's not the focus of today's video. Today's video is talking about the logins. Okay. So the next thing is towards our qualitative interpretation. Qualitative interpretation. So what is qualitative interpretation? Okay. So when you talk about qualitative interpretation, what does it mean? Okay, so for qualitative interpretation, so when you talk about qualitative, qualitative interpretation of a gamma log, 
gamma ray lock interpretation. Okay, good. So here at our stuff is running from zero to what? To 200, have we? And we have 10 vertical lines. Nine, oh God. Okay, just manage my readings. So let's say that this is our, this is our scale, this is our gamma ray region that we got from the subsurface. Okay, good. Now, when we get this reading, what are we to interpret? Okay, you have your depth, your your depth scale. So let's say here is 9150, here is 9200. Okay, this is your gamma ray log. So how do you interpret qualitatively? Like you don't need to calculate or anything. They give you a gamma ray log. What is the next thing to say? So the next thing to just do is to what? To just look at the midpoint, this is 0 and 200. So the midpoint is what, 100, Abby? So you see a vertical line. Take vertical line, probably at 200, okay, at 100, okay? That's the mid vertical line. So a lower API reading, a lower API reading will tell you that what, what you're discussing is what is sandstone or sand, while an higher API reading, API reading, we tell you that what what you are discussing about is what a shield. So when you are moving from zero to two hundred, this midpoint that I usually draw this midline, okay, just from the middle line, a quartet division for the middle line. Anything that is at this point here is your sand. Anything at this point here is your what is tending towards what shield. Okay, so from this midline, anything here is sand. Thing that this line represents is showing that what you have a what or shale in this region, okay? Shale, sand, and probably some limestone, like fine vines or something, okay? Or carbonates, yeah, I think so. Okay, so that is a brief on our qualitative interpretation, okay? Stay tuned as we keep doing most of the logs, okay? Thank you, ensure you subscribe and like my video.